Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, ma'am. So, Mirasol, please lay the opening prayer. Let's bow down our head and put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it's in heaven. Give us this day our delivery and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So once again, good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, ma'am. So by the way, I am Onigris A. Stiliore, and I am your teacher for today's afternoon. So before we proceed to our new topic, let's have a short review first. So, last meeting, we discussed all about the backyard swine racing. So, for today, we discuss the care and management in goat racing. So, for our objectives, at the end of this lesson, students must be able to first identify the management in goat racing, second, demonstrated proper goat housing, and lastly, value the importance of goat management. So, what is goat management? So, goat is a multi-purpose animal. Goat is kept for milk production, meat production, hair, skin, and manure. So, class, yan ang dagan manggihapon ang mainggan yung mga goat farming. No? Tungod kay napaka-in-demand ang kambing ng produkto mula sa maging karne niya and milk niya. So, maong daghan ang mag-goat farming tungod kay profitable po ni siya. So, next is goats are hardy and relatively low maintain animals but they still require appropriate care and management to keep them healthy and production. So, ang kanding daw class is low maintain animals from the from the word low maintain. Dili ra bitaw siya sim sa pig nga dako kayo gasto tungod sa iyang feeds. Unlike sa goat nga pwede ra siya og mga grass, no? So, next slide Management of goat raising. So first, housing. Whether on range or confined feeding, housing provisions are necessary. A goat house or shed must be built to provide shelter. So as for living human, we need house. No, goats do also need. No, a goats are afraid of rain. And witness as this make them prone to pneumonia. So, mangutan na ko, Chris, unsa man ang mga symptoms or unsa man ang mga symptoms sa pneumonia? First, coughing, nasal discharge, mouth breathing, and slow or difficult movement. So, that's why giving the goat plenty of fluid is essential. So, especially in colder weather, adult goats prefer warm or hot water. So, next is the importance of shed. Shed is necessary to protect goats from the sun, water, and cold. And at night, also protect from theft. Sheds built above the ground, which help to control management of dung, and goats, which help to control infections and non-infections diseases. As well as, it will be easy for management of goat feeding to farmers. No? Plus, if mag-goat farming ta, kailangan nga makahibaw ka sa mga technique and build a goat shield. So, first is, dapat daw nga ang balay sa kanding is above the ground. No? Kailangan above the ground siya kay aron makontrol na to ang infections and non-infections. Kay, if Pron kaayo ang kanding sa baho nila sa ilahang mga hugaw na ay posibilidad nga makakuan silang infections no o above the ground mo niya tong giingon nga na ay silong aron mas sayon pod nga limpyuhan ang shed of the goat so next is the plan for construction of good shed 
So, it is beneficial to construct goat shed by using low-cost and locally available materials. While constructing goat shed, separate spaces should be maintained for kids, dry dough, pregnant dough, kidding dough, weather and breeding back. No shed's floor is maintained to keep secure footing, but dung and urine should pass from the holes and it should be easy to clean the shed. So, if we construct or maghimo tagbalay sa kanding, dapat sad class nga nice space. Kailangan ilahi ang mga kids, mga dry dough, especially sa mga pregnant. Kaya na possibilidad nga kung itipo ni mo sila makuaan. So, next thing is, ang floor sad is secure footing. Ang sabi nang secure footing? From the word secure, dapat nga lig on sad ang imuhang pagkahimo. And kailangan sad nga ang kanang iyahang floor is dapat dili singkit. No? Kaya aron ang iyahang ihi, ang iyahang hugaw should pass from the holes. Aron sa yun, sad limpihan. Aron dili magtapok ang dang. So, I think that's all my assigned topic. So, I will give you the floor to Mom Mirasol B. De La Torre. Thank you, Mom Muniglis Estriori. So, for the continuation of our discussion class, um, Mom Muniglis discussed earlier the goat management and the plan in constructing a good goat shed. So, this time I will be going to discuss the Sample of shed. So, laying the wooden planks in appropriately so the goat's leg will not pass from holes. So, sa ginayangong ganihan ni Mamuniglas is if magbutang taog um, saog sa balay sa isa ka goat, dapat siya dili kayo siya singkit kay para ang ihi or ang mga, uh, for example, tayo sa kanang kanding is dalir sa matagak sa ilaw para di siya magpundo sa babaw ng mga kos o um, baho sa ilahang bay. So, dapat po ang imuhang ang saog is dili bito po ng dali maguba. Kay ang kanding is hilig og dagandagan. Murag, o para siya dali, dili siya dali ma, for example, ang mabasot if yan ang lagyo rapod kayo ang imuhang saog. So, dapat um, sakto lang dyan siya para rapod, dili sila mabasot para po di makakausa, in, dili sila ma-injured. Next slide. Okay, so, shed in good condition, clean and dry. So, dapat po limpyo o um, ang isa ka balay sa kanding kay mapuno siya mga cause of kanang makadali bitaw maadap sa kanding ang mga disease if ang balay is dili bitaw limpyo. So, dry. Sa ginayong ganihan ni ma'am is mamuniglas is ang kanding is dili dyan siya ganahan o tubig. This, di mag, dali mag ganihan siya ay puson o something nga mauwan, mauwanan, ipusong dyan sila da yun, kay dili dyan sila kayo ganan o tubig. So, mauna, ang ilang ba, balay is need you dog, dry siya nga, kanang dry bito nga panimalay, murag way bito ay something nga mabasa sila, mabasa lang siguro kung ug mo inom sila o tubig. Sa sabot mo, class? Next. Okay, so, next slide. Okay, so, fencing. Nanay hogwire is the cheapest and most effective fencing available locally. Posts must be staked every 2 meters. Goats are fond of pounding their feet and cramping their bodies on the fences, so it must be sturdily built. So, if magbuhay taganding, so need you ng fencing coral. Need you ng coral. So, huwag mag-build po kag coral, di po ng... Um, Kaya nabitong di, di po ng murag tag, dagko ra kayo glat ang kanang sakto ra po. Nga nga nabitaw same sa pictures. Nga nyo nakita class. Nga na po dapat na mag build og. Kanang kural og mag kwanta og. Mag raise ta og isa ka kanding. Okay. If mag kwanta og imong kural is lagyo kayo. Tapos makalusot na po ng kanding. Makaikyas na po na sila. Then ang imuha pong kural is dapat po lig on. Okay. Ag kanding mong good class is hilig na sila og pidit pidit ng ilahang lawa, lawas sa um, kural kay amot habit lang siguro na nila na magpidipidid pero nijud na sila o ligo ng imuhang fencing fence, kural next slide 
identification and data recording. Please read, Monigles. Okay, thank you, Monigles. So, kini ko ng identification and data recording class is tag ni siya nga the way to know the health of one goat. So, di rin na tumahibawan class if kanang ang isa kakanding is na sakit or something nga niya, ang health condition is dili bitaw kanang kuan morg na something nga di sipon siya or gilantan, muna siya gipamati ang isa kakanding. So, di rin na tumahibawan sa identification tag. So, kini ko no if possible bitaw ang goat is na something sa young health, pwede na to ni siya ilahi aron di bitaw makatakod sa laing uh, ilaing goat mo na siya ang um, reason nga nung naitag ang isa kakanding para may bawan nila ang health condition siguro may bawan po siguro ni siya o kanang kuan if pila na baka man siguro ang kanding or nga na or mother na ba siya pwede na ba siya habalan pahabalan nga na class ba ano, may bawan na to sa identification and data recording Kasabot ra? Next slide. So overall, proper care and management are essential for the health and productivity of goats. By allowing these tips, you can raise healthy and productive goats. So, class, ipuhon-puhon nga mag-raise mo o goat is dapat ni mong kuwano na mga steps o mga care management on how to uh, raise goats. Sakto po nga, pamagi para yung muhang, muhang farm, nga garis ka goat is, ka nang makuhan siya, wala, ay, wala bit ay goat nga, ka nang masakit, basay mo lang sundo ng mga care, kung saan niyo pag kuhan ang isa ka goat. And so I think that's all about my topic. So, please, muna iglesis for lead the closing prayer. So, okay. So, let's bow down our head and put ourselves to the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to end this class successfully. We thank you to our teachers who give, shared their knowledge with us. Also, for our classmates who gave their time to listen and cooperate grant that we continue to pursue our education despite the problems that come our way. May you send your Holy Spirit to guide us. We pray for the safety. We ask all this in your powerful name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, class. Have Goodbye, a good day. Goodbye, ma'am.